Hello there, all my art friends. I just received my palletful packs in the mail. I stalked my mailman until I retrieved it from him today. I'm very excited to play with these this evening. If you didn't know, palletful packs is a monthly subscription box that you get art supplies. And so far I've been very happy with what I've gotten in my subscription boxes. So let's get right into it and open this bad boy up. How was everybody's Christmas? I know uh, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and I wish everybody a happy New Year. Okay, ooh, we got nice blue crinkles, blue crinkles. And this little card here, it will tell us some prompts, and it always gives us, gives us a powerful, powerful packs um, challenge and some ideas and inspirations to do with your materials. And on this side, it's going to tell me what we get. Hoo-hoo-hoo, what do we have here? It is Art Alternatives Artist Pencil Pod. Nicely wrapped. Let's read about it before we just open it up. It says, this pod is a fun and functional way to store your pencils, pens, and small tools. It is designed to hold approximately four pens or a set of 12 pencils. It's made of beautiful sanded hardwood and will conveniently store to protect your drawing essentials. It features a sliding lid and it is $10.95. Okay, this is what we have unwrapped. Oh, goodness. All right, there we go. So that just looks like the ball bearing. But yeah, nice little secure place to put your pens and pencils, your valuable valuables, anything you don't want somebody to steal. But yeah, this is really cool. Something nice to set out on your desk. It looks nice and pretty and decent. So yeah, that's pretty fun. I don't have anything like this. So let's just leave this open for now because I have a feeling we're going to get some things to put in it. Let's Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen Black. Oh, thank God it's not wrapped, but it looks like a little felt tip to read about this guy. Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen and Black. Yeah, it's perfect for sketches, journals, cartoon, fine drawing. Price is three sixty. So I think I have a couple of these, but this is good to sketch out some drawings, do little doodles. So we'll test that out in a moment. It says brush. Oh goodness, I can't read that. Brush sign pen. Ooh, that's neat. Very fine tip blue. <laughs> Almost looks like a liquid eyeliner. Um, let's read up on that. Yep, blue. Well, my card says it's black. My pen is clearly blue, and it says blue. So it says this brush tip is great for a variety of techniques, including feathering, cross hatching, calligraphy, detailed line work, and outlining. Brush tip wipes clean with a paper towel and will not dry out if left uncapped. Well, that's nice to know. Two ninety nine. So yeah, mine's um looks blue to me, which is fine. I mean, I have enough black pens, so and this guy has well, this also says a sign pen. That's not the same tip though. And that has a sticker. This also says sign pen. Okay, so no, I was wrong. This says sign pen, this also says sign pen. This is a Pentel micro brush sign pen in blue, black, blue, and gray. <laughs> All right. So 
So there's the gray, there's the black. And those look very precise. So we will test that out on some paper in just a moment. Now let's get back to this guy, which I already read what this was. I just thought it was a different pen. So another sign, a brush sign pen. This one's in black. This one's $2.99. I'm assuming the set of three here is $14.97. These three right here, $14.97. I get my shit straight, don't I, today? Ooh, very nice square Stonehenge white. Got a little bit of a texture to it. Nice, thick. Okay. Stonehenge white paper pad 8x8, which is a nice size. You don't often see pads that size. It's 100% cotton rag, acid free, heavyweight paper that is machine made in the USA. Versatile fine art paper offers smooth, even surface with a light tooth that resembles vel vellum. Ideal for a variety of media, including pen and ink, drawing, watercolor, printmaking, pencil, pastel, or silk screen. This guy is 1838. And I believe that's all we've got in our box this month. Let's test out some of these pens. Let's start with the Faber-Castell. Does it say what? Nope, it doesn't. Very nice. Put it in our nice little handy dandy box. The black brush sign pen. And this one's got a different tip. Um, okay, we're going to focus on that guy. Not really. I don't know why I try sometimes. It's a little stiffer, a little thicker of a brush at the end. And then these were the most interesting. Let's start with the black and work our way up to the blue. Ooh. That's uh well, you can get really do you even see that in the camera? Very small lines. Ooh. That's neat. I mean I don't do that much drawing. So this isn't something that I would normally ever buy, but it sure is neat to play with. Okay, put the black away. Let's check out the gray. Just as fun as the black. Very detailed. I mean, that's just, wow. I'm 
Now the blue eyeliner looking brush. These are just fun to doodle with. They feel really neat. All right, so super cool. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, guys, so this is our powerful packs for January. Lots of fun brush tips that I've never used before. I'm not even sure. Like, I'm kind of at a loss. This is a little out of my realm. I do do some drawing, but not a whole lot. So I might have to refer to this card to maybe give myself some inspiration and know what to do with this month's box. But if I have enough time to go down into my studio and draw something, I will include it at the end of this video. If not, I will post something on Instagram for you so you can see what I made. Hey, if you guys enjoy these kind of art subscription boxes, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.